Gemini, there was a very decisive moment for you in which you decided it's time to move forward in some way. It's time to level up. It's time to go after something better. Potentially, it's time to take this to the next level. It's time to make this better somehow. And you may not exactly know how to move forward with it, but I like the fact that you have the chariot here, Gemini, because that to me tells me that you're emotionally balanced. Even though you can't see completely clearly in front of you, I still feel like you're approaching this situation from a balanced point of view, emotionally. Well, howdy do there, Gemini. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what is up, guys? So welcome to March 2021, yeah? Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, we could be talking to a cross watcher here. Yeah, keep that in mind. So the roles can be reversed, right? So if it's not resonating exactly how I'm narrating it, just place it into your life as it fits, but make sure you do not try to place something into your life that does not fit, yes? So um, I am available for private readings if you're interested. Uh, all of the information is in the description box below, including a list of some of the readings that I offer and my email address, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. Um, so if you would like to get a reading, go ahead and read through that list, email me, and I'll get you all set up. Also, uh, I am available on Patreon. If you're vibing with me as a reader, I highly recommend that you check us out over there. We do daily readings and bi-weekly twin flame readings and bi-weekly inner masculine, inner feminine readings, which helps us look at what's going on with the inner masculine and inner feminine energies in an effort to help balance and integrate them more. Yeah? So... Gemini. For this month, um, we do have St. Patrick's Day this month, so I was inspired to use the Fairy Forest Oracle deck to get our closing messages. And then also we are using the Mystical Manga Tarot. Yeah? All right, my Gemmy Gems. So check it out, Gemini. Um, I have your pre-shuffle here, and I feel like what's going on for you right now is you may be having difficulty getting some sort of business idea or some sort of something. I just feel like it's something difficulty getting something off the ground. And it not, may not necessarily be that you're having difficulty getting it off the ground. You may right now be in a planning phase in order to follow through with some sort of inspiration. I do feel like this is pretty heavily on the business or maybe even creative scale, but maybe it's relationships, love and really like a romantic relationship too. You may want to make an offer to someone. Someone may want to make an offer of commitment. This may, um, sorry if I like spoiled the, if I spilled the tea or if I spoiled the surprise, but I'm actually kind of picking up that someone may be wanting to make a proposal. This could be a business proposal. It could be a proposal of let's go out on a date. It could be let's take this, like let's make this serious, let's make this official, or let's get married. Who knows? But you have the Ace of Wands with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so that Page of Pentacles in reverse is what's talking about either having trouble getting something off the ground or at least being in a planning phase on how you're going to embark on something. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Magician. Um, uh, just going a little bit further, underneath the Magician, you do have the Seven of Wands here with Death and then the Three of Wands. So you may have, you may have overcome something. You may have gotten over a bit, pretty big hurdle in your life recently. This Page of Pentacles can represent a level up, a new start. So this could be you figuring out how to manifest or how to work through this new life cycle that you're entering. Okay. Or this could be a level of a greater level of commitment in a relationship um, that seven of wands could represent overcoming the hurdles of like the beginning phases of a relationship and now with death here that could be a transformation right from one state of being in like maybe being single or or just being single to being uh, being in a relationship or just taking it to the next level basically the death card represents transformation that is right along with your path here, the Three of Wands. There's a, there's a good amount of momentum in some situations or in some case that I feel like somebody here is now looking to take advantage of and take things to the next level, all right? Gemini, yes? All right, cool. General energies for Gemini for the month of March of 2021.
Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, Gemini, let's give this five shuffles here and we'll see what we've got for you. One. Now, I really do feel like this, whatever this um, new start or trying to get something off the ground, um, it, it feels like a labor of love. It fe definitely feels like it has to do with love. This is two. But that's also because as I was just connecting with your energy right now, Gemini, I did see pink. Okay. This is three. So whatever it is, um, whether this is a, a love, like a romantic relationship or just like a labor of love for you, this, whatever, uh, this is three, whatever, um, new start you're looking to have, taking something to the next level or whatnot, it's inspired or by, it's influenced by love. Okay. This is four. A passion project is something that I'm hearing. Yes. And this is five. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, March of 2021. Let's cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy for Gems. Gemini, you've got the moon. So this is the mystery. This is the unknown. This is seeking the answers I'm hearing, uncovering what it is you don't know in terms of how you're going to move forward, how you're going to take this to the next level. Okay, you might be in a little bit of a dark period, especially in terms of like if you've just like leveled up to a new state of awareness, uh, a, a new state of awakening. This is you kind of being shrouded in the darkness of not really understanding or knowing much about this new level. And so kind of having to trust your intuition until more illumination comes into the situation. All right. Yes. Underneath the moon is the Knight of Cups. And then underneath the Knight of Cups is the Chariot with the Seven of Pentacles. Ooh. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles, but then also the Queen of Swords kind of wanted to show itself. That's interesting. Funny enough, Aquarius got the Queen of Swords too. That doesn't surprise me. Now that I'm doing the, re the monthly readings like on a, an element basis, like I take one day and I do like that element and then we're good. It seems that a lot of similar messages come out for that element as a whole. However, I'm I'm not so sure how the Queen... Well, the Queen of Swords definitely feels like a deciding factor, especially in terms of the Seven of Pentacles here, okay? Underneath the Queen of Swords is the Hermit, all right? Um, so I feel like there's an energy here, Gemini, of you having gone through a, a bit of deep soul searching, or maybe this is your partner or a cross watcher um, and come to a realization of some things that they want to change in their lives. And that could be leading someone to want to take a relationship to the next level, wanting to make a greater commitment, a firmer commitment um, there or, or wanting to start this new passion project. Or that could be the element of what has helped you gain this level up, we'll call it. That was represented by the page of pentacles. Okay. So I feel like Gemini, there was a decided, there was there was a very decisive moment for you, in which you decided it's time to move forward in some way. It's time to level up. It's time to go after something better. Potentially, it's time to take this to the next level. It's time to make this better somehow. And you may not exactly know how to move forward with it, but I like the fact that you have the chariot here, Gemini, because that to me tells me that you are emotionally balanced even though you can't see completely clearly in front of you the direction that you need to go in or what the actions that you need to take i still feel like you're approaching this situation from a balanced point of view emotionally which is a good thing okay it feels like you're definitely oh i mean your heart is definitely in the right place all right and just be i, I do want to encourage you to move forward because just because you don't know all of the details right away it doesn't matter you can still move forward here all right and kind of like learn as you go, in a sense. First set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading here, Gemini, is the Four of Wands. So especially if this is a relationship, this definitely could turn be ultimately turning into a marriage because it feels like there is a solid foundation here. It's like you've gotten, and even if this isn't a marriage, whatever this represents for you, this, this level up, this new adventure, this passion project, or taking some, whatever it is to the next level, it's happening because you have a solid foundation. And this actually kind of is the perfect energy for that because, or the perfect card for this energy because the four of wands can represent a celebration. Um, but it's, it's, and it's definitely a, a worthwhile celebration. It's definitely something that is appropriate 
but at the same time, don't rest on your laurels because the work is not done here. I like to, I like to refer to the Four of Wands as like building a house. And at the Four of Wands stage, you have the foundation laid. Like the foundation's been poured. It's kind of drying right now and great. So you can party, you can hang out, you can celebrate, but just remember that there's still work to do because one, you have to allow this, the foundation of this house to settle before you can build the rest of it, right? Okay, Four of Wands is coupled with, A, the Six of Wands. Definitely a time for celebration, definitely reaching a new level, definitely overcoming a great deal, having a lot to show for it, or definitely having a, a, a uh, a, a right to feel proud of yourself to kind of take that victory lap to kind of like you know keep your head up high like yeah i did that this also this kind of feels like a checkpoint so if we are talking about a relationship here you've definitely overcome the preliminary the difficult preliminary phase where you're really just trying to get to know each other or you're trying to get to understand if maybe this relationship can go any further i feel like if that's the case for you you're ready for the next level okay Second set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini, is the world. You know, if this, if we are talking about a romantic relationship here, it really does feel like somebody has grown up and is ready for a greater commitment, is ready for like um, a greater, to make this more, more solid. I just, I, no matter what this is for you, Gemini, the, the, the world is speaking to a level of advancement, a level of really, I'm hearing showing up for yourself and also really having um, matured in some pretty significant ways. We, the world is coupled with the Ace of Swords. There's a sense of clarity, truth, a realization here that's helping you close out a cycle and helping you take this to the next level, okay? You've recently come into a sense of awareness that could, this could very well be a sense of self-awareness. I feel that very strongly for you, Gemini, okay? Which is allowing you to make the commitment. In some cases, it's allowing you to even be able to consider making this commitment or taking this to the next level or whatever, okay? Your challenge here, Gemini, is the Queen of Wands. Some of you are having difficulty with this alignment here, with assimilating or really sinking into this alignment. Some of you, I feel like some of you are feeling slightly afraid of the fact of what, can I really keep up this commitment or can I really sustain this new alignment? And I don't want you to really focus too much on that. I don't want you to beat yourself up about that because this is still very new. So it's, to me, it feels like it's like right on par or it's fairly common for someone to kind of doubt or question whether or not they're going to be able to maintain this or sustain this. But I wouldn't give that too much energy because you really just need more time to get your footing in here in this level or in this new vibration so that you can feel more comfortable and you can be confident that you can sustain it, okay? Queen of Wands is coupled with the Hanged Man. Interesting. But I feel like you've gained this already, awareness already, Gemini. So it really just does feel like the, 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 the challenge here is... maintaining this alignment which to me doesn't it is nothing other than just giving it time and allowing yourself to acclimate with it more and become more comfortable with it i feel like the hanged man here is confirming that you do have the change in 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 i want to say position but also the change in awareness the uh, the enlightenment that will allow you to sustain this new vibration this new alignment okay Closing message or potential outcome for you, Gemini, in the first half of your reading, you have the Page of Wands. Re-identifying yourself, starting a new creative project, sending that message. The Page of Wands is coupled with the King of Cups. Look at that. Emotional maturity. Beautiful. I, you do, you have, you have what it takes to sustain this, Gemini. I really want to encourage you to just move forward here. 
because you're you're approaching i really feel like and, and the king of cups is saying this but you're approaching this situation from a, a place of emotional maturity that is sustainable so don't worry about it okay excellent gemini all right Let's get into the second half of your reading here, Gemini. First set of surrounding energies, you have the Page of Swords. Lots of pages here, okay? You, the Page of Pentacles came out originally. Um, the Page of Wands came out, and now the Page of Swords is coming out. Gemini, this is you. This represents your energy. Um, honestly, what I'm getting with this Page of Swords is figuring out planning. Figuring out a way to get that message, like to send that message. Like I'm literally seeing someone planning something like a marriage proposal or something like that. Something like that. It feels like planning. It feels like investigation. It feels like doing research in order to send a message or to start something new or make that commitment or take it to the next level. It literally, I literally feel like somebody's planning a party here. Sorry, if that was a surprise, I completely ruined it. <laughs> Page of Swords is coupled with, there's that inspiration that came out in the beginning of the reading in your pre-shuffle, Gemini, the Ace of Wands. Someone is planning on finding a way or figuring out a way to follow through with something they've been inspired to do. I'm, I'm hearing take the leap of faith. Step into that next level, Gemini, or Crosswatcher. Your challenge, no, no, sorry, second set of surrounding energies in the second half you're reading, Gemini, you have the Knight of Swords taking action. This also can represent your energy, Gemini. I'm hearing taking action in terms of your desired goal. Communicating, this could also be sending a message in a very um, forceful way, but I feel like it's forceful because it's confident. It doesn't feel forceful in a destructive way, okay? It might come across fairly aggressive, but again, it's coming across in that way because of a sense of confidence. Knight of Swords is coupled with the Ten of Cups. Someone is very confident. Someone is very gung-ho. Someone is very sure of themselves. It also might be a little bit of a hasty energy, but again, there's this sense of confidence that's really driving this, okay? So this is you, this is somebody moving aggressively, maybe even forcefully towards their 10 of cups, towards their emotional fulfillment, towards their family and love life. I mean, the Knight of Swords can be a problematic energy, but I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of like this. Like, this is this is feeling good. This is really feeling good, Gemini, okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading is the Nine of Cups. Complacency. Aha. Being too comfortable. I feel like some of you may be facing the, the, the reality of, well, you know, things are really good as they are. Why should I change them? Because you're facing going to the Ten of Cups here. So if you, could, if you could take a step, take a gamble, take a risk to potentially get you from that Nine to the Ten, why wouldn't you? Don't allow complacency to keep you stagnant. Nine of Cups is coupled with the Knight of Wands now. No, this is saying to move forward. Again, don't allow complacency to, to stop you or to keep you sedentary or to make you sedentary. If you're inspired to move in a, in a direction, move in it. Go after that last cup. Okay? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Gemini. The Nine of Pentacles. Independent, strong. Again, uh, uh, overcoming and rewards for hard work done well. For some reason, I feel like somebody may want to stay single. In some cases, even though I was just talking about if you want to go for that last cup, go for that last cup. I feel like there is still somebody here that might want to stay single or might want to stay in the space that in this independent space that they're in. And if you are if you are feeling uh, a little bit of resistance here in terms of complacency, that might be the reason why. 
because you just want to maintain your independence. It feels like somebody might be thinking, well, if I, if I take this step, then I'm not going to be the independent person that I am or I've grown into be any longer. And that's not exactly the case. Okay. Obviously there's going to be some things that'll change, but you can still maintain that sense of independence. Okay. Nine of pentacles is coupled with the ace of cups. So there's that offer going out on a date or making it official or whatnot. I really kind of want to say with this, Gemini, do what it is you feel you want to do because it's coming from a place of love of self. All right. All right, Gemini, let's get your closing oracle guidance here. Five shuffles. One. Two. Four. For my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March of 2021, this is five. All right, closing oracle guidance for my Gemini is here. Okay, well, we have card number 18, Elf Struck, Enchanted, Beguiled, and, and, and Spelled. You are dazzled, amazed, astounded at present your head a whirl with otherworldly visions and thoughts. You may be a little obsessive and unable to balance at present. Is it all or nothing? And the, it is all or nothing and the momentum is exhilarating and intoxicating. You have given your all to your new passion. You have discovered that you truly do have the power to create what you want and need in your life. So please take time out to, come to contemplate just how these miracles have come about the coincidences and connections that have brought you to this place. There is so much to be considered, to think about, and the thoughts you have at this time are so intense and fully flavored that they are creating the next steps in your life, drawing them to you, weaving and creating your future. While you are currently so devoured by the desire to push forward, use this energy. Do not allow your current state of enchantment to be sabotaged or hijacked for other purposes than your own which must be for the highest good. Soon the intensity will ease, balance shall make a return, and life will take on something like normality again, normalty again. But now, having tasted magic, you can never return to how you once were. You are forever changed, friend. Well, there you have it, yeah? I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, I am open for personal readings if you'd like to get one. Also, check me out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of April. Y'all, take care. Bye. <laughs>